Hey guys, welcome back. Just wanted to do a quick update. Um, I uh, almost lost my lettuce the other day. It got uh, really dry in the reservoir and uh, it was just kind of really drooping and I thought that it was just kind of uh, just kind of got uh, too hot for it so it just kind of wilted. Um, but it turned out that the reservoir actually uh, was almost completely uh, dry. So I did figure out, uh, I did wanted to uh, get a picture of the roots. I know um, that's usually the thing that a lot of people do is get a picture of the roots um, to show off and stuff and I, I don't believe I've actually done that yet or it's been a really long time. So um, the roots look pretty pretty dirty and pretty bad uh, but I don't have any air sewn or anything like that in here. Um, some of the roots obviously the plants didn't do as good um, and everything. Uh, I guess that's maybe a, a fungus or something. Or maybe that's new root growth. I don't know. But the whiteness there kind of scares me. But um, these are pretty much done for, um, you know, these are pretty much done. Um, so I'm just trying to, uh, just trying to kind of uh, wait this out, um, harvest off what I can and, and get some, uh, hopefully get some seeds from that. Uh, that one there so um maybe they'll be a little bit more heat tolerant and that sort of thing so um that's the update on the lettuce um unless i have much more changes and everything it's probably going to be one of the last ones um it's just uh it's too hot it took my uh took me too long to get them going so um that was a bit unfortunate uh it was due to the really small uh containers that i was using in the beginning just kind of an experiment i wanted to see um the plants definitely lived um so that was a good thing. Um, the bad part was obviously that it slowed down the growth, um, which ended up, uh, you know, extending the growth period uh, from spring to summertime. So that's really kind of, uh, you know, caused the the leaves and stuff to be a lot more bitter than uh, what we'd hoped for, or what I'd hoped for. So, um, so that'd probably be it. Um, the plants have grown really great they, they've done quite well um, by the way I did just fill up the reservoir um, back to about halfway halfway full of the container there and that did uh, fix the um, the issue I, I filled it up at night and it came right back uh, the next morning it had almost completely recovered so um, which I had thought I had completely lost it so um, that was really good uh, thing to find out um, I had I had done stuff like that in the past where I thought I had lost something and I um, ended up not giving it water uh, and it didn't come back. Um, whereas this, I gave it water right away when I noticed the problem and it came right back. So I don't know if that was luck or if that was just, you know, the way it goes. But um, moving on to my uh, pumpkin plants here. These are the ones that my son uh, and I brought home. Uh, and then these two are the ones that, I, um, that we planted here. Um, looks like there's definitely... I'm assuming that's like a powdery mildew, um, or, or maybe it's sunburn, um, something's going on with it here, uh, it should be okay with nutrition wise, um, nutrient wise it should be okay, um, but as you can tell it's, it's really getting eaten up by, um, by pests and stuff, so I don't know if those are caterpillars, um, that are running around, or if maybe they got, um, something else going on, but, um, I'll have to try to keep a closer eye on those to see. Um, I'm hoping that they'll grow and produce pumpkins um, either way. Um, so we'll, we'll find out. Um, my little aloe plant down there, he's getting dwarfed underneath the huge uh, pumpkin leaves and stuff. So I um, may have to find a new location for those things. Um, I want to do a quick update. I think it's been about two days since I planted my strawberries here. So uh, they look like they're doing okay. Um, I would have liked to have planted them up a little higher um, to give kind of the crowns a little bit more room. Uh, I know I've seen YouTubers caution that if if the crown gets too low, um, that it can uh, cause the plant to, to die. I think this one is okay there, um, and that one looks like it's probably going to be okay too. Um, I think what happened is, is I had the soil in, and the soil was up a little higher, um, probably a quarter inch or so uh, higher. And um, when I watered it, um, it, it, I think, caused the soil to kind of um, scoot down a little bit, as you can probably see there. It looks like it kind of settled a little bit. So um, so I think I should be okay there. Um, oh, this one had new growth on it, so um, that was good and exciting. This one has a little bit of new growth on it, um, but that looks like that's the newest growth here, uh, these leaves here. So 
I don't know if that's good, bad, or, or not. Um, I've been trying to, uh, I've been trying to think about, um, starting strawberry seeds. I had started some, uh, a while back, and, um, they never sprouted, nothing ever became of them, so everybody I talked to said to just, um, get plants like this and then just harvest the runners, um, once they start producing runners and everything, so that's my hope is that I'll be able to get some runners off of this. Um, the container, uh, it's a five gallon bucket, obviously there's a lot more dirt in here than, than what these two plants will need, um, so, um, you know, obviously I could have used a much smaller container, um, this just happened to be, uh, the cheapest container I could find. Uh, there were other ones that were more expensive and smaller, uh, but I just was frustrated with that, so I just decided to just get the five gallon bucket. It's a bit of waste of uh, dirt uh, and everything, um, soil and that sort of thing, but um, I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that maybe it'll have a little bit more of a reservoir for, for water and nutrients, and so maybe then the plants maybe will put down deeper roots, I'm hoping, uh, which will then result in and more vigorously growing plants or maybe they'll produce more strawberries I don't know um, just in case I didn't in case you haven't seen the uh, video here um, I just want to get a it's a uh, oh Ozark beauties is uh, by Bonnie Bonnie plants um, these are strawberries and they're Ozark beauties so uh, just in case uh, you don't happen to catch the first video I did on them uh, so that's that um, my Sweet potato, uh, um, sweet potatoes are doing quite well. Um, the, uh, excuse the hose there, guys. Um, the, um, sweet potatoes are doing quite well, I think. Um, the thing I was wondering is if I should be cutting, uh, and kind of trimming them back and keeping them back away. Um, because I know once they get to the, the grass in the yard here, um, that they'll, they'll end up trying to, uh, sprout roots, um, which I've had a couple of them sprout roots uh, already. Uh, here we go. Here's an example of this little guy here. He's he sprouted some roots. I think he was touching the ground somewhere. Uh, I did have to, I think, readjust them. Um, you know, kind of move them around a little bit. So, um, I don't mind if they get into the ground and start sweet potatoes in the ground here. Um, the one, I, I probably never harvest them from the ground, though, is one of the things. But I was just curious if I should be cutting the, the runners off so that maybe they'll put more work into um in, into the uh sweet potatoes themselves or if i should just let them run wild and, and let them do what they're gonna do um so i still have the six bags uh all the way across here with uh the cucumber here which is doing pretty horrible but it is still alive as best i can tell um uh so um i, I don't know what's gonna become of the cucumber uh there so we'll have to see what happens with it, but the sweet potatoes do quite well. The rosemary, um, I think I've decided that I'm going to put it in a bag like this. Maybe if the cucumber isn't doing so hot, maybe I'll, I'll dig him out and put the rosemary in there. Um, I was going to put him in a, another bag that I had inside the house and just bring the bag out and, and put it in. Uh, but I think I might just try, if this cucumber plant continues to not do so well, um, that I would end up probably just um, replacing that one. But this is my last cucumber plant that's still alive, so um, I'd rather not uh, kill any chances of having cucumbers, but uh, this one's been about this size for a while now, and it's only got that one cucumber on it. So I, I cut the original cucumber off of it to uh, try to, to spur on some growth on the, the vine, which didn't do any good. The original cucumber had a, um, had a caterpillar in it, so, I don't think it's going to do very good anyways, so um, the plant just seems to not be doing so hot, so um, I think maybe it's too hot. I, I'm not entirely sure what happened this year with the cucumbers, um, but we'll have to figure it out. Um, then of course I have my tomato plant here, doing quite well. I just did an update on the tomato vines and plants and everything. Um, I don't know if this one has any... Um, yeah, I don't know if this one happens to have any... Uh, oh, it does have a tomato on it right there. Excellent. Let's see if I can get. See, you can see right there. He's got a tomato on him. So um, this one has started producing uh, fruit. So um, pretty happy about that. Um, what I try to do is just tie, tap, um, try to tap the flowers and, 
and tap the stem. Um, I do have quite a bit of uh, honeybees that are around here. Um, not exactly sure where they're coming from, uh, but I, I'm guessing they must have a colony nearby. Um, so they, they do a lot of the pollinating. I really don't usually too worry too much about it, but when I walk by, I like to tap it. Um, I guess that's the, the lowest fruit set, I guess, is on that vine is... So, sorry for the sun angles and everything, guys. Uh, the sun is kind of setting-ish. <laughs> um, so, getting some bad shots here. But um, hopefully you guys can kind of see uh, the plant. Um, I'm guessing I do need to go through and, and trim out some of the, um, the extra leaves and that sort of thing. So, I'm going to try to, to sort that out. Um, so, um, that actually looks to be... Um, that one's probably the tallest that I have, um, there, uh, which is growing in the, the bag with soil. Um, the second tallest is this one here, but he has a lot, lot more fruit on him. I think I counted the other day, this is the hydroponic one, which, um, he's in a five gallon bucket, so he's up a little higher than the, the bag there. So that's why I say the other one's probably a little taller, um, but this one is definitely producing a lot more fruit than the, the other one there, so... Uh, last count, I had 10 on there, um, 5 down here, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I don't know if there's some more with flowers here somewhere that maybe have have um, got fruit on them or not. Um, not sure when this little guy's going to ripen up and turn, uh, hopefully soon, I hope. Um, so that's that plant. Uh, like I said, they lost that cucumber and this cucumber, so the one in the bag over there is the only one left. Um, we have this tomato plant here, uh, which seems to be doing pretty good at this point. Uh, he had a pretty rough start, um, but he's he's got some fruit setting on him. So as you can see, you got the, the two fruit there. So um, that's good and exciting there. So uh, certainly happy about that. Um, so that's that. I have this little tiny tomato plant here. He seems to be doing pretty good. Um, I need to probably pull him out of there and stick him in one of the cucumber ones there. Uh, this one here is obviously looks like he's pretty much dead at this point. So um, there goes that one. Uh, this one seems to be doing okay though. So uh, hopefully we'll get something kind of out of that one there. Um, so I think that's pretty much uh, my update there. Um, Still got the two little acorn or oak trees down there and that volunteer guy there and then my bamboo which the bamboo's always upset because they always have way too much water in there and so um uh he, he's pretty neglected the original thought with him i i got him you know just as a lucky bamboo from the local store you know real small you know maybe three inches tall something like that and he's grown uh to be that size and um, the hope was is I could get bamboo shoots off to, to help stake up my um, plants and that sort of thing. But in a, what, four gallon bucket there or whatever, it's probably not going to do very well. So, uh, but that's pretty much the update. Um, the thing I'm most excited about is the strawberry. Um, once I, uh, hopefully once I start getting runners off of those, I'm hoping to plant them in here is the ultimate goal there. So, um, I'm hoping to turn this from the lettuce over to a strawberry factory. So... Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Um, oh yeah, I still have this lettuce here in the um, in the window there. My guess is I probably need to transplant him into the, the container down here. Um, originally he was in the container, but obviously the other plants were had much bigger roots and everything, and so he ended up getting drowned out or kind of uh, starved out of water and nutrition. I luckily I caught it and I started watering him. And he, he made a little comeback. Um, wouldn't say that he's quite a success. Um, I haven't figured out what kind of lettuce he is. Um, but um, we'll, we'll hopefully figure it out um, there one day. And uh, maybe stick him back in here. And hopefully he'll do better. Um, but I think that that's pretty much it. Um, I do need to clean this up a bit. Um, and like I said, I need to, to pull out the cucumber one. So lots of work to do. <laughs> Not lots of time. So um, 
I guess I'll just uh, get going for now. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, thank you for all the people who have uh, been liking and subscribing and uh, commenting and everything. So that uh, is a big, huge encouragement. Uh, you know, I'm just starting out with my channel and everything. I think the channel's only a couple months old and everything. So I'm actually going to have to do a count on some of the... Uh, the videos that I actually have uh, to find out how far along I am on how many videos I posted uh, but hopefully um, the videos that I'm posting now are just starting to kind of pick up um, I want to say I'm a couple months month to about a month or so behind so um, you know people are posting and giving me feedback and comments and giving me suggestions um, on on stuff uh, which it would really help when I ask for help uh, to actually post the video fairly quickly so that I could get um, so I get the help that I'm looking for <laughs> uh, instead of a couple months later when I've either figured it out or the plants died off but we'll see so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, hope you guys are having a great day thanks bye